Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. I'm your instructor Joy. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really, really appreciate. So today, this video will be an answer to a subscriber. This balance was wondering um, how one could relax the shoulder. Um, we were told at the beginning when we're new to violin holding, we're supposed to be able to hold the violin without holding the violin. So we learn to crunch it harder. And also when you learn how to vibrate, at first we tend to hold the violin harder so that we're afraid that we might drop the violin so we tend to over squeeze it. And I don't, I mean, I don't blame you. I mean, we all went through that one. If you think about it, we're holding a wooden box between our neck and shoulder. And that is a hard job for our body part, especially here. So even though it's understandable that we sometimes get overly hard or overly tense shoulder, it is very, very important to know how to get rid of the tension because the price is too high because it will add either end up with a strong pain or we may have to think about playing other instruments. So it's very, very important as soon as you pass a very entry beginner level knowing how to hold the violin without your left hand, it's important to know how to keep your shoulder and neck very relaxed. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things that you can check it to get rid of the tension on your shoulder that gets built very easily. First, check whether you need shoulder rest or not. Some people, there are many different studies, there are many different approaches. Um, I personally like shoulder rest. That does not mean that you will need one. However, when you hold the violin and then your shoulder is coming up like this, so if I take a man like this, if in order to hold it, because most of us have a little thicker neck than this, so in order to hold this, um, not everybody I'm saying, some people have to raise their shoulder quite a bit to hold the wooden stick like this, you see that? And that's, um, for short time maybe okay, but ultimately it's gonna hinder us from developing further left hand technique as well as in general health. See if you just can avoid that one by using a shoulder rest. If you can fix that one, that would be great. That's first thing. Second one. Check your violin holding, see whether you're holding your violin properly. Now, um, I've experienced many times uh, quite advanced violinists coming to my studio or holding violin very much in the front chin like this. So pressing the violin with the front chin like this or sometimes far out, especially with a tall violinist, far out like that. So now, um, Holding violin in front like this, even if you get used to it, the shoulder comes up naturally to be able to grab it because you're holding violin with the most distance from your neck to chest, you see, whereas here just this much. Therefore, you want to compensate by raising your shoulder and that's what often happens. When you're holding violin too much to the center, a lot of violinists tend to uh, raise the shoulder overly too much there for creating tension. When you're using the uh, the shape of shoulder to hold the violin too far out, your shoulder may be relaxed, but then you have to work harder with the bow arm because bow arm has to come around. Then you end up having twisted back, and there will be problems on other parts of the body. That's not right either. So the way you should hold the violin is you see this collarbone here. The violin should sit a little diagonally on the on the collarbone, right on it. Now. As you can see, I have a little bruise on the neck, so a lot of us have it, because that's what should be holding it. Now, uh, when you hold your violin, you, you t on, your violin should sit on the side of your chin, and you lower your, your neck or your chin gently without squeezing too much. And you should not bend your neck or turn your neck like that, then you're gonna have a neck pain, yeah? Just make sure your violin sits on the side, on the left side of your chin, and then right sitting on your collarbone right there like this yeah and then you should be able to hold it without raising your shoulder too much and then make sure your neck is straight as well a lot of us turn the chin like this again there's another problem there just lower your chin gently yeah and then here so you um the opposite problem with the shoulder where some people tend to raise raise make that shoulder rest really, really tall to fill all the gap between neck and the chest part 
The problem is then you have a stiff neck and then again another problem causes a the shoulder and neck problem there. You want to just have enough height so that you can hold the violin without squeezing your shoulder too much but also enough room here between your violin and neck so you can tilt your violin and adjust as you need it. As you play harder um, passages you should be able to adjust your violin and readjust and move it um, in order to stay relaxed and, and then healthy in general yeah now um, let's say you're holding violin correctly you're you should be able to hold the violin without shoulder pain and still you're having a little um, shoulder pain or tense shoulder or neck pain then see if you can move your violin as you hold it slightly to your left yeah sometimes when we're, we're concentrating and playing like this and and when you're holding your violin like this all the time um, even when you're holding a violin on the right angle, uh, your viol if your violin is overly right in front of you like this. Now I'm going to take my violin away so you see it. You see it? My, my body, my arm is squeezed in and that's already tension there without violin. So in that case, you can release the tension by bringing violin slightly to your left. Simply releasing the tension of the upper arm. Yeah? If you're playing like this, just simply bring it to your left a little tiny bit and it already releases the upper arm tension. That's what you want, not squeezing it like that. Yeah. So that's, that's another thing that you can text it. Now, um, during practice, during playing, simply when you feel like tension, just simply just lift up your chip and adjust that one or sometimes just drop it and then see and get familiar of the feeling of relaxation of your shoulder ultimately we have to we are the one who get the signal first before anyone so see if you can release it and remember the feeling of relaxed uh, shoulder and neck and after you hold the violin you should be able to create some similar feeling while keeping that one and I also find it um, when a student has an overly tense shoulder, so simply physically lowering, I ask my student to drop the shoulder. The shoulder tension happens with a both arm, with a bow arm, or with a violin uh, shoulder. Yeah? So simply dropping your shoulder physically, dropping your shoulder helps us to relax. You know, like that? Just drop it. Yeah, just physical drop of both shoulders will help you to relax that one. Yeah? So I hope this gave you some ideas. I hope you can fix your problem. But remember, whenever your body signals with pain, that's really time to listen. And you have to do something about it. Good start will be stop right away, take a little break. And then see if you can uh, tweak and change a little thing. See what, uh, whether you could release that tension. Yeah? I hope this video was helpful. I wish you all happy and healthy. Violin play. Hope to see you again. Bye bye.